Fern Young talking to you from Nashville, Tennessee, the country music capital of the world, with such stars as Carl Smith, Marty Robbins, Whip Pierce, Ernest Tubb, Little Jimmy Dickens, and Jim Reeves, Ray Price, and yours truly, Fern Young. friends and we're very happy for the opportunity to be appearing here on the country show coming to you from Nashville Tennessee we got a show here that I think most of you are really going to enjoy because we've got folks on here today that is everybody's favorite and this fella coming up right now is a favorite of an awful lot of people he's known all over the world is the Texas troubadour let's make him real welcome Ernest Tuck <laughs> Thank you a lot, Marty, and thank you, gang. We're mighty proud to be here with you on the show today. It's a good country show, and all the troubadours are over there. I think they're ready. We'd like to do a number that we've had some requests for called If I Never Have Anything Else. It would be nice if I could buy you Almost anything It would be nice to have more diamonds For your wedding ring But my love is all I have I can't offer the rest But I'll always have dreams If I never have any Anything 
It would be nice to own a mansion and a car too. It would be nice to own just about anything new. But my love is all I have. I can't offer. yours to possess and I'll always have dreams of I never have any Well, sir, I'd like to have you folks meet a good friend of mine. He is 100% country gentleman. That is, he's 99% country and about 1% gentleman. You folks will know him when he says he's going to the wagon, these shoes are killing me, the Duke of Paducah! <laughs> country. I know that I ain't tall, dark, and handsome. After all, I ain't catering to that Bobby Sox crowd like Perry Como. But I got my following. I got the long underwear crowd out there. Oh, I tell you, I ain't doing bad with the Bobby Sox either. I heard what you said back there. That blonde back there says, gosh, ain't he cute? I wish he was mine. I can be had, all right. <laughs> I'm a little hard to get, honey, but I can be had, all right. <laughs> Every time I come here to the barn, some girl gets after me. The last time we was here, there were two pretty girls sitting there, and I walked out, and one of them says, look at him. And she was crazy about me. She was crazy about my hat, and she was crazy about my suit, and she was crazy about my looks. <laughs> that was her trouble. She was crazy. <laughs> that one that was crazy about me oh she was a fellas she was the kind of a girl that you'd like to take home to your mother if you could trust your father you know <laughs> <laughs> and, and sweet oh that was the sweetest thing i'm telling you kind-hearted she had a heart like the u.s army open to all men 18 to 25 <laughs> Uh, I mean, you know, I ain't supposed to meet no girls. I meet them once in a while, but everybody knows I got a big fat, oh, I got the fattest wife ever. And I meet a girl once in a while, I don't know what to do. I met this one when I was here the last time, now that one. My heart says yes, my mind says no. I never have heard from my liver, I don't know what it is. But you meet a girl once in a while, that last one I met here, I didn't lose no time. I kissed her, and when I did, something inside of me went bang. My garter's busted. <laughs> but she was a country girl. She was a country girl, and I can always tell a country girl from a city girl. You just walk down the street with a girl and let a big puff of wind whoo, come by and watch what happens. If you're with a city girl, real dainty like she reach up and get that hat, you know. A country girl will grab that dress every time. <laughs> I'm going to the wagon, these shoes are killing me. Well, when it comes to real country singing and uh, for country girl to do it, there is nobody that can do any better than this next young lady we have here, Miss Kitty Wells. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, sir, if Earl White is ready to this fiddle in all of the country square dancers, let's everybody do a little square dance, all right? <laughs> square dancing a little bit now. I'd like to do a little slow number that we recorded a couple of years ago. One called at the end of a long, lonely day. At the end of a long, lonely day When the world seems to fall in my face I'm all Next, uh, this next act coming out here has uh, more friends than most of us, you know, because there's more of them. And I really mean that. There's two of them. Let's make them real welcome here. Johnny and Jack. Johnny, help us out on a little tune here called I Want to Be Loved. I'm 
They sort of pulled a little surprise there, you know. They didn't tell me they were going to have little Miss Ruby Wells on that, but that made it all the much better, I think. Right now, we're going to bring out uh, one of the finest in the business, I think. He was on the show a little earlier, and I know you folks like him. You're going to like him again. The Texas Troubadour, Ernest Tubb. Yeah! Thank you a lot, Marty, and thank all the gang here, too. We'd like to sort of go back and pull out a real old timer here if all the troubadours are ready back there. One called, I Wonder Why You Said Goodbye. Baby. <laughs> but I hope that you've enjoyed the show here, the country show coming to you from Nashville, Tennessee. We may as well go out with a little thing called Coming Around the Mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes. She'll be coming around the mountain. Thank you. 